So you want to learn how to make 2D animation using Photoshop and Premiere Pro? I got you, you gotta stay with me. To be honest guys, I'm going to break this tutorial into two videos. The first one is going to be about preparing our plans in Photoshop and the second one is going to be about preparing the environment in the Premiere Pro in order to get that awesome 2D animation at the end. Without any further words, let's get started. So I already ran my Photoshop so I'm going to either import the plan directly or I'm going to create a new, uh, actually um a new layer with some uh let me see uh, let me choose pixels i'm going to insert the full hd um 1920 pixels just like that and make sure that the resolution is a little bit good like i'm going to set it to 100 it's going to be crazy okay let's go and let's unlock the layer and as we learned before we're going to create a new adjustment layer with solid color because we can adjust it the way we want now the first thing i'm going to do is to import my plan just right there i'm going to drag it um a little bit like that okay this looks um a little bit good that's amazing now let's work on our background i'm going to change the color of this actually i'm going to choose something like near to gray uh something like that actually let me make it lighter just a little bit that's awesome and now let's import the wallpaper right here as i mentioned before that we have to work with the background first actually it's a preferred because it saves a lot of time we're gonna uh, talk about that later okay let's drag it down and let's choose the last one from blending mode and let's decrease the opacity to zero and then set our opacity the way we want okay that's satisfying this is good now the second step we're going to create a copy of this plan using the control j actually i'm going to turn it off for now this one i'm going to fill the walls with uh, a solid color just like that i'm going to do that um as fast as i can just like that sorry and we're going to fill it with black okay just like that anything else um no that's it okay let's fill it from adjustment layer solid color and let's choose black that's it uh, i'm going to merge both of those layers i'm going to keep that shot now let's create another copy of this one okay now turn this one off and the one we created here we're going to invert the colors using the Control i shortcut as you can see now it's in white the other one i'm going to turn it on and press Control t in order to move it just like that like i want to give uh, a sense of shadows okay and i guess this is good for me now let's decrease the opacity just like that okay just make it light okay that's it about around like 40 percent this is amazing now let's work with this plan right here how can i make it looks more digital okay the first thing you have to know is to, to to create the outer glow so i'm going to double click beside the layer's name and go and activate outer glow i'm going to choose either orange or you can choose maybe cyan maybe the magenta or maybe you can go with the red one you can choose whichever you want yet yeah, like choose the color you like actually this is the whole point i'm going to choose for now um let me choose the cyan one okay or the magenta let's let's just play around with colors okay i'm going to use the magenta right here let's decrease the size actually i just want it to look like it's glowing like it. i want that i don't want that to be super obvious okay i just want the effect so i'm going to decrease the opacity as you can see like 100 percent and it will never work so i'm going to decrease it to 30 percent just like that okay here okay 
that, that that's it we, we already gone all, all the way like we, we've done 50% of the work that's it well the second thing that I'm going to make it look like a divided okay like as you can see in digital drawings you see like the the shapes are uh, nearly divided so we're going to do that in Photoshop actually I'm going to create something let me create a new panel or a new uh, file right here press alt Control and N to get a new one. I'm going to create a four A41. Okay. Let's uh, draw something like that. Actually, this is a trick, guys. Um, you gotta learn that. So, solid color. That's it. Now, let me turn off the background and let me crop the rest of this picture right here. Now, what am I going to do next is to go to edit and define as brush preset let's go there and hit ok now why did I do that actually I want to get a new eraser with that rectangular shape now let's go and see what effect do I mean by that I will be using either the mask or the eraser for me I will be using the mask because it's easier to edit any time so I will use the mask as you can see that the color of the mask is white so I'm going to use the black brush now let's go and um, compress it just like that in order to get a really thin line as you can see now if I did this continuously it's going to remove all of it but I want uh, spaces just like that I want to divide it only so what I'm going to do is to press the F5 on my keyboard and go to tra uh, sorry not transfer the first one has the option spacing so I'm going to increase the spacing just like that and I'm going to test it here uh, I guess that it's still a little bit big so I'm going to compress it even more let me see around 6% this is great I'm going to decrease the spacing until I'm satisfied with the result this is awesome this is awesome let me increase it just a little bit that's awesome okay let's go and go all the way just like that you can go another like round to make it look more digital just like that and that's it we're almost finished we are almost finished now the last step of this uh, tutorial is we're going to name our plan so I will be choosing actually uh, I will be creating a new layer and we'll call it names and in this layer I'm, I will be creating some leaders um, we'll choose a normal brush just like that with 100% hardness and you can choose either the magenta color or the white one it's up to you I will be choosing the white color and let me just choose some spaces to, to name um, I guess that one maybe that one and make sure that you like uh, create like a couple of uh, you know because text always makes um, our picture speaks actually so <laughs> let me do that and I'm creating the leaders um, sorry let's see um, maybe we'll choose that to come up here and that one here and that one to the left also to the left actually you can use guidelines in order to make it like uh, really neat and look great let me see this one right here yeah I guess this is working well okay that's it that's it let me remove these guidelines from here this is awesome now what I'm going to do next is to apply also the outer glow on these leaders like simply but with less opacity and less size as you can see that it looks a little bit bright only I want only the effect and also I will decrease the opacity of this layer because I want to 
I, I don't want who's looking at it to, to focus on the leader. I want them to focus on the plan. Okay, so the next step is to add the text. So press T on your keyboard and um, let's choose another text type. Maybe there's one called Dubai, which is really amazing. You can download guys for free from any website. So for now, I'm going to name these spaces. Like for example, this is the kitchen. And by the way, you can do this to any of your plans. Actually, you don't have to stick with my plan. So you can apply this to any plan. Um, I don't like this type right here. Um, you can choose either a digital one, which will look really awesome. Let's go with that. Let's go with it. Okay, the kitchen. I'm going to apply also the outer glow. Double click. And okay, let's go and decrease the opacity as always. Let's go and name this one. I'm going to name it actually the entrance. That's it. Now we added the text. We are totally ready to go to Premiere Pro. But first, you have to do one last thing, which is importing the separate, uh, layers as separated ones. Now we're going to um, let me merge all the text. Control E. I'm going to select them all and merge them as one layer as you can see that it's called text the other one is the leaders you can also actually merge them together together so it, it's going to be easier just easier for you you're just going you're just going to play around with the transitions that's it that's all now i have my text layer and i have my plan layer also my shadow layer and in addition to the background so what i'm going to do is to play around with these layers in Premiere Pro so let's first import them as separated ones I'm going to start with the text control um, okay let me see on my computer okay let's go I'm going to create a new file on my desktop digital plan okay so these are the texts okay and make sure you save it in png format without background we need that okay keep that in mind so this is the first one the png of the text now the second one is going to be the plan also Control s let's start here um this is the plan okay i uh, got that mistaken no problem png Okay, this is our plan let's turn it off and turn on our shadows like keep them on this same order okay shadows png as well don't forget that save the last one is sorry not the plan but the background we need the background as bng so it's fine and this is the pg just like that Okay guys, that's it. That's everything for the first part of our tutorial. Make sure you watch the other part. About these files, you make sure that you comment your email down below in order to give you the full link for downloading those files in addition to the other files. Make sure you watch this video right here. Here, you see? Right here. <laughs> Just go there and learn how to make 2D animation using Photoshop and Premiere Pro. Hopefully you guys find this enjoyable and useful. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give me your feedback in the comments down below. See you in the next one.